I am in the small town of Manitou Springs, Colorado, a town built on its mineral-rich water resources. It was also one of the first places fluorosis was identified. In 1901, Dr. McKay graduated dental school and came out to Colorado Springs to set up shop. One of the things he noticed in his patients was this change in their teeth, anything ranging from white chalky spots all the way to what they called Colorado brown stain. Although the teeth may not be aesthetically pleasing, he did note that these patients didn't seem to have the decay that other patients had. But he didn't know exactly what was the cause of this Colorado brown stain or the modeling of the teeth. The Dental Society got a whopping $20 together, which helped fund hit the research into this for the next 15 years. This led to a number of simultaneous studies involving scientists across the globe. Dr. H.T. Dean, who was appointed by the U.S. Public Health Service, published sound findings in 1941, showing that elevated levels of fluorine were the cause, but levels at one part per million were beneficial for preventing decay. In the past century, hundreds of studies have proven the benefits of optimum fluoride, guiding scientists to lower and monitor fluoride where it occurs too high naturally, and adding fluoride where it is beneficial. So here we are testing Shoshone Springs water, and trust me, I would drink more of this if I could, but I need all of this <laughs> for the test. It actually tastes really good. I mean, it was known for wellness in the springs. Shoshone Springs coming in at 5.2 parts per million fluoride. Now let's test the other one. So 3.9 parts per million for Cheyenne Springs. Now again, these are, uh, these are naturally occurring springs, so it will vary depending on runoff um, and many other factors. So now that you have some of the background knowledge on the extensive history and misunderstanding of fluoride, next week we will wrap it up on why there is a controversy and misunderstanding about fluoride. And I highly recommend stopping in at Rocky Mountain Beignets.